All right, folks, welcome back. Um, for the rest of this particular section, this adding functionality section and expanding our knowledge on WordPress a little bit, we're just going to be talking about plugins. So again, plugins are things that add functionality to your website, and they just can enhance the way that your website is experienced. They can add a lot of different things, uh, SEO, help, um, security, backup. They can help with spam, anti-spam. They can change the way that you look at URLs and everything. There's just a ton of things that you can do with plugins. So I just wanted to walk you through five quick plugins that I usually install on WordPress apart from uh, Akismet and Jetpack, which we have already kind of looked at in the last section. The five are, they basically have to do with SEO, security, backing up, URLs, and then caching. So I'm just going to kind of talk about each one of these in turn. And I'm going to split between the back end of the development website that I've been working on and then my personal website, uh, just to kind of show you what they are. So again, to add plugins, you basically go to plugins and click on add new here, and then it'll come up and you can search for these by name. So the first one that we're going to look at here is uh, Better WP Security. Again, some of these don't install on the development server because it's a development server. It's not actually live online. So uh, this one does actually so we can click on this and go to settings and I'll just kind of show you this I'm gonna actually walk through this in a little bit more in depth in another video um, but basically uh, what this does is that it uh, adds an extra layer or five layers of protection to your WordPress site which is really good because you know the name of the game in WordPress occasionally becomes security right we've had a you know a massive attack in recent months on WordPress sites and it's always better to have uh, you know, good security on this. So uh, I'll walk you through all this a little bit later, but just wanted to show you that one. Uh, another one that I've uploaded here uh, will, is Pretty Link Lite. And what you'll see, you know, you'll see it here on the left hand menu now, but uh, it's also going to be uh, in your dashboard. So I'll let that load up here. <clears throat> just scroll down here and you can actually see this is the quickest way that you can add it to a um, add it to your website and, and make a new URL. So let's say, for example, that uh, we wanted to show this particular picture. You know, it's our picture. We want people to link directly to that. But let's say it could be anything. Um, it could be, you know, a PDF that we want people to download or whatever. So uh, what we do is we copy this URL there and we take it and we paste it in there. So as you can see, this is. A, huge long URL with tons of numbers in it doesn't make any sense so what pretty link does and this is a free version is that you can have it on your website here www.test.dev slash and we'll just put picture right and so now that's created <clears throat> and let's say that you know we wanted to go up here and you know we're talking to people and oh yeah just check it out on my website www.test.dev slash picture and you can see that it links them straight away to that picture. So the Pretty Link is just a great plugin to have uh, for that. And yeah, it's just really helpful when you're wanting to reference people to different parts of your website. So um, another one is is some is a caching plugin like WP Super Cache or W3 Total Cache. Um, what these two do is they help your site to load faster. I tried actually installing W3 Cache. Uh, W3 Total Cache on this site, on the development site, and it didn't load because, again, it's off, offline, really. So, but what you can do is you can configure all these uh, for settings, and actually, if you're going to use WP Super Cache, uh, you have to go to the plugin uh, admin page here and actually enable it. And all you're doing there is turning caching on and updating status, and you can just leave all of the other settings here. But what this will do is it'll uh, help your site load faster, basically. Um, I won't get into that too much here, but it's just something that really helps your uh, ranking and everything like that on Google. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, this is the back end of my website. Uh, you can see that I have two SEO plugins installed, all-in-one SEO pack and uh, WordPress SEO. So you can install either one of these, and even the default settings, you can just install it and activate it, and even the default settings will help you out with uh, SEO. I'm not going to talk about those here because there's a lot of other great resources. But um, yeah, the, those are the SEO plugins that I, that I recommend. So let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, hope to hear from you.